I wrestled a world champion in wrestling, and this is how it went. It is impossible to score, I know. Okay, boys, there's a big day. Um, of course, it's, it's weird, it's just a regular practice, but we have a world champion coming in. Mr. Stevan Micic wrestles out of Belgrade, Serbia, but you know he went to college at Michigan. Um, basically, he's going to come here. We're going to roll around, uh, film a podcast. Super hyped about that. Get a bunch of good wrestling content in here, and uh, yeah, no, well, let's continue with the, the vlog. Had to had to come with the Axios today because uh, had to impress him because man is a man of fashion. So let's get into it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the man Savan Michich, how are we doing today? I'm doing good, my guy. Thank you for having me up here. This is crazy. Getting the Serbian world champ in the room. This is great. We've been scrapping around here. Let me get some more wrestling. Yeah, of course. Let's go. 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 Bibbing dope on flame, I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in base, slab on everything. Swimming, you shaking away, cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses, I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin. Money clip, I tossed it, I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh uh, coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win. LABB, who we running with? Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again. Pump up the action. I'm active. If he never heard of Ben Dope, he just snapping. Jackson's off the rapping. Keep it on my body, bitch. I'm broke if you ask it. Don't gotta sell him, most of y'all is broken. Whips as long as it is foreign. Heard you want it, cause the game's enormous. What's in since she isn't gorgeous? Live my life, last name of Morgan Freeman. Trying to touch a forest, do not know when knocking on the door is. Came in, I came in, I came in, did it like the Porsches. Coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. 2233, I'm on 10 again, okay, alright. Coming in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win, yeah LA BB, who we running with, yeah 2, 2, 3, 3, I'm on 10, 10, 10, yeah Just so you know, guys, Michi's just scared right now. <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. I don't know. <laughs> okay. That, it's crazy because we're drilling too. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So we're drilling. We're drilling now, apparently. <laughs> Oh my god. It is impossible to score, I know. You, actually, you think, he'd be, you think he'd be pretty good if he's a world champ. Okay, actually, let me mic you up. Okay, since you're doing more of the work. <laughs> All right. I'll, All right, guys. He doesn't know what I'm going to do next. Let's see. He's really sweaty, but we'll see if this one works. It worked. Come on, you got it. There goes the shoulder. Come on. 
Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's a tilt. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him with something good. Get him reaching. Dang. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna get him reaching, but he came out quick with a 360 yeah. top, top spin. Beyblade. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm messing up 15700. Do I feel big? Yeah. Or I just feel long. You're strong. I'm I've been well, I've been building up a lot of strength over this last. Because when I make my cuts I get really weak. Yeah. You know? So that was my problem when I just I, I was making 57 and I'd always wrestle super good. Since 2018 I've been doing 57 every year. Yeah. And I just I'd say like 2020. I finally felt mature for the weight and strong, but then as I made the weight too many times, yeah. I lost a lot of strength. What are like, you focus on like hitting numbers or is it basically just? Um, well, I try to like right now, I'm about like 43 uh, 40 to 45. What about like, like uh... but, when I, but when I'm in like time to train, about, uh, I would say I get to like under 140. What about like lifting numbers? Oh, lifting numbers? Yeah. Right now I'm, I do a lot of explosion stuff yeah. to help my lower body extremities because I have like with my length, I'm not super fast explosive wise. I have like a lot of like technical speed yeah. and reach. So a lot of it's like keeping my shoulders strong, sure. extended, learning how to recover. Legs, a lot of like stuff for my hips, and knees, and ankles, you know? Yeah, yeah. And a lot of explosion things to kind of help with a little bit extra pop and an extra little bit of, because I can't load up too high of numbers where I'm gonna, now that I get heavy, it's just like, there's no point. There's no point, yeah, that you can't use exactly. when you cut down. So I just, I'm also like always really like lean, so when I do get below, I have a low fat retention, so I can't keep my body down at like below 35 all the time. About a month out, I'm training around 38, 37, sure. and then, you know, then that last 12 pounds is kind of like, you know, diet, strict diet, yeah. water. We can get into that another time. Yeah. But you're also, dude, you first like you're in season, so you're like already like, True. I'm I'm like not out, I'm out of season right now, so. <laughs> the guy says out of season shape is just. My, my out of season shape is never out of season. <laughs> that's, that's true. But my my weight, I mean, I'm not I'm not I'm closer to your weight than you than oh, you know. Yeah. I'm like at your I'm like a right now I'm wrestling you like a 41 pounder maybe. Right. 33, 41. <laughs> oh, the cradle. The cradle. He's way too strong in this position for his own good. Really? He got the takedown though. He got the takedown. Oh my god. On that leg, but as soon as I go that far ankle, it kind of puts that weird pressure on their knee. It's just they can't, they don't really know how to turn. No. That. You're good, dude. Yeah, appreciate that. I I needed a good just roll around. Yeah. If you want after season, are you you have another year after this, or is this? Yeah. If you want to come come work out with me before I get ready for the Olympic Games too, you're always welcome yeah. to come. Yeah. I love that. Sometimes I need more guys to our camps. So you're always welcome to come train. But once you're done with the season, we'll probably have one a spring camp. Sure. Bring yeah. some different guys in. You're always welcome, dude. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I need I need some bodies and you know different different feels, different stuff. It'll yeah. it, it'll definitely benefit me. You know. What one thing since you're mic'd up? If there was one thing someone could get to break through to the next level, whatever they are, middle school, making it to state, high school placing, getting to the top, you know, to the top of yeah. the one Yeah. Yeah. Um, one thing I think, like, when I was little, I would say that helped me get in was, um, I, I think the main thing is, like, oh, having faith in your training, what you're doing, and once you're confident, I think confidence comes from the, rep the what you feel in the in the day in the in the room. Like you know you're doing the right thing, and you f you feel confident in what you're doing. Like you know, le learning how to 
get to that A shot that you're good at doing and like feeling confident you can hit it on anybody or like you know what I mean or like I can uh, I can go into practice and, and I'm, I'm doing really good. I think the main thing is though you got to come into practice every day with the right attitude to give the same effort you're going to do in a match and I think when I started doing that I, I saw myself go up levels because then I go into practice I go into in a tournament and not expecting something a lot bigger than it really was right you know I'm, I'm in it I'm, I'm facing it every single day here to then just go out there for only six minutes or seven minutes you know what I mean you're doing this every single day so this should give you this should give you a lot of confidence um, in yourself to know like hey I'm okay I can go push it and I'm just gonna give everything I got when I go out there because I think what, when you hold yourself back and you, you're afraid to give everything out there because you don't want to lose you're that's holding yourself back the effort is really what can get you over that 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 hump I think just treating it the same as you are here you go and you shake hands, you go try to kick someone's butt. You gotta do the same thing when you shake hands with them on the line. What, what do you think, agreed? I, I love that a lot, I good. appreciate it. That's, that's gonna be really helpful, I think. To good, good, good. There, so. so that include the practice. Honestly, I just wanna say how thankful and grateful I am for Stevan to come up and train. Like, absolutely, like, Honestly, life changing. That was, it was super, super cool. I'm super grateful. You know, even editing this back and like watching that footage, like we got into some definitely a lot of fun scraps. I'm sure he was trying 10%, but even like that last speech, going into each practice with a certain focus and believing in yourself that how you're going to practice is how you're going to compete. And if you consistently do that, not even just like weeks or months, but doing this for years, this is a guy who's committed, a, you know, a vast majority of his life to perfecting his craft and being at that level of a world champion, being around that type of energy. Energy, that type of greatness is just absolutely amazing. So having him in the room was just an absolute blessing. He also came on the Clash of Combat podcast, guys. I encourage you guys to check that out immediately after this video to watch more. If you guys did enjoy this video, I'll actually leave that whole podcast linked below and check it, boys. We got the Cauliflower Clash of Combat collab merch. This is actually stitched on here. This is insane quality. Like, look at that. That is so clean. We also have this design too with the Cauliflower and then the Clash of Combat logo around it. Still going to be, I think, a week or two before it releases, but I will let you guys know. Get hyped. I'm so happy about this. And then shortly after this drops, my personal merch will be coming out and I'm so hyped. But definitely a lot of cool things, but that's going to conclude this video. If you guys did like this video, I encourage you to like this video, subscribe if you are not already. Shout out to the patrons, and we'll see you guys next video.